Hey, what's up YouTube? All right, so today's video, we're gonna let you on a little secret of ours. We're gonna teach you how to match knockdown texture perfectly every time with a little trick that we use. We've all had that handyman come in and says he can match the texture and it just doesn't work out. Well, we're gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video, but before we begin, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, that way you don't miss a notification from us and follow us on our journey through our world. All right, first step, first coat. We are using five minute mud here, but you can use 20 minute, 45, whatever you're comfortable with. You mix it to like a creamy consistency. It comes in powder form and it has a heating agent in it to activate it to dry up faster. We make sure we bring it out a little bit from the bad patch that someone attempted before. We make sure we feather the edges. That way when we sand, it's easier to feather it all out. That way you don't look like a patch. Once our first coat is dry, we're gonna pull it, all the lines out and all the bad edges, and then we're gonna coat it really tightly with a second coat, just to make sure we get all the imperfection and it's all smoothed out. If you're needing a third coat, make sure you do that before you wet sand. Again, on this, you want to make sure you feather in the edges really nice and tight. Now we wet sand. Wet sanding is the best application for fast setting mud. We use a grout sponge and then a 3M sponge you can get at Home Depot. It's a fine medium grit. Uh, we like the angle ones, that way we can get corners and stuff like that. So we make sure that we wet it down, we wet the whole surface, then you take the 3M and you sand out any imperfections and the edges are the most important part of this whole patch job from sanding just to make sure that when we shoot our texture, you're not gonna see all the edges. That's what's gonna ruin the project. And this is how we match knockdown texture perfect every single time. This is ideal for small patches, nothing that's bigger than a two by two patch. If not, you're gonna stress your hand out and it's just, it's just too much work to do anything over a two by two patch. First, what we start with is we get a pan and then we take our 45 minute mud, we mix it in our pan. We mix it a little bit creamier than a uh, finishing mud. That way we can flick off your fingers pretty easily and make a nice little dot. Uh, we want to flick a background first, which is small dots, that way it doesn't look too noticeable. When you do a rig lace, it has a bunch of little small ones in between the bigger ones of so uh, flat toes. After that, we dab our fingers and we put little dots on there, uh, bigger dots, so it can make the rig lace looking textured. Once you are confident that you have it nice and full and you think it's gonna match, pretty much you have to have an eye for it. Then you can knock it down. We use a 10 inch knife that we use for the finishing. You've gotta press lightly on it. If not, you're gonna flatten it out and it's not gonna look good. 
You also can use a plastic knockdown knife that you can get from allwall.com um, or any kind of drywall supply place. Again, with these small patches, you always want to make sure you pull outward and feather it into your existing texture. That way it looks natural. And that is how you match knockdown texture perfect every single time. Thank you for watching.